Classic black furniture. You can't get more elegant than that, and it is timeless. But with all the furniture paints on the market today, how do you know which one to choose? Well, I've been painting furniture for well over 10 years professionally, and I've gone through a ton of brands. I've tried numerous, and today I'm sharing my top six brands that I go back to over and over again. And stay tuned till the very end of the video because I have to say it's my all time fave. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start, here's the fun part. So as I mentioned, of my 10 plus years of painting furniture professionally, I've used my fair share of black paint in various brands. There are so many excellent brands of paint on the market these days. It can be overwhelming to choose which one to buy, but today I'm sharing six very, very excellent, well-known brand names, um, and they work beautifully. So let's get started. These are in no particular order. I'm gonna start this list with Fusion Mineral Paint. And the colors I like for a really, really beautiful black are ash or coal black. Fusion Mineral Paint requires little to no prep and it's easy to apply with good adhesion. It uses natural pigments rather than synthetic, which makes it great for coverage. And one or two coats usually does the trick. Uh, dry and recoat time is about four to eight hours, and once cured, it does not require a top coat, although for high traffic items, I do recommend one. And again, ash, which is a softer, smoky charcoal, is beautiful, and if you're looking for a dark black, coal black is perfect. Now, if you're looking for a little more organic look, maybe you'd like your black furniture to be a little more distressed or chippy. One of my favorites was Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint. Um, and it, it came in a typewriter color. Now, Miss Mustard Seed was made by a Canadian company, Homestead House Paints. And now I think they've gone back to the Homestead House brand rather than the Miss Mustard Seed. I'm not sure if they still make Miss Mustard Seed paint. Maybe somebody could uh, tell me about that in the comments if you know. But the Homestead House company here in Canada still makes their Homestead House milk paint and coal black is gorgeous. So if you're looking for a milk paint, which is a powder uh, that you mix with water to get a real organic milk paint finish, it's, it's all natural. Again, it comes in a powder form that requires mixing with some water. Uh, some prep to the furniture may be required depending on the look you're after. And coverage takes a few layers before it starts really looking good. I usually paint two to three coats of milk paint. Um, and again, it's great for achieving a chippy or distressed finish and creates really interesting dimension with the blended pigments. Uh, so if you're looking for a black milk paint, uh, Homestead House has their coal black. And just a fun little tidbit, uh, Homestead House is also the same company that does Fusion. It's a Canadian company. So really, the brand is quality all the way, whether it comes to their, uh, their Fusion mineral paint or their Homestead House milk paint. And now I'm going to move on to another one of my favorites, uh, which is General Finishes in lamp black. Now I've done quite a few pieces with lamp black and it's a deep, deep true black. Um, versatile for pieces you don't want to look quite as flat, yet you can easily achieve a matte finish if you desire, depending on what type of top coat you decide to put on top. So General Finishes is an interesting paint because it's labeled as a milk paint 
And the reason why they did that, or, or so I heard, was because of the colors. The colors are like milk paint colors, but the actual paint is an, a really heavy duty acrylic, which is very, very durable. Uh, and it sprays or brushes beautifully. Uh, so prep and a top coat are recommended for all general finishes paints. Uh, but again, they leave such a beautiful, beautiful finish. And again, if you're looking for a true black, lamp black in general finishes is stunning. On to one of my other very favorite, an enamel paint is Sherwin Williams All Surface Enamel. And the colors I like are Black Magic or Iron Ore. Those two are very, very beautiful blacks. Uh, prep is required. This paint can be used for interior or exterior projects, and it's definitely tough enough for high traffic furniture like kitchen tables, chairs, etc. It can be brushed on, and I also love spraying with it uh, because it sprays beautifully out of a paint gun. No top coat is required uh, because it is so, so durable, and it's easy to clean, which is another uh, bonus on, on my part. Uh, so again, this is Sherwin-Williams All Surface Enamel in Black Magic or Iron Ore. Now for you chalk paint lovers out there, uh, Annie Sloan Graphite. Uh, it's not a true black, but it does make for a gorgeous finish. And I used to use Annie Sloan quite a bit years ago, but in most cases, no prep is required. And one or two coats of this charcoal black gives a really nice coverage. Uh, dry and recoat time is super fast, usually within an hour. And the Annie Sloan chalk paint does require a top coat and will have a beautiful depth when a black wax is applied over graphite. It, the, the two combined look very, very beautiful. And I know at the beginning of this video, I said they're in no particular order, but I guess I have saved my favorite to last, <laughs> uh, which is Dixie Bell's Mineral Chalk Paint in Caviar. Uh, this is, again, a chalk mineral paint. Uh, caviar is their black, black, which is a, a, a true black. Uh, but I also love Coffee Bean, which actually has a brown undertone to it. So if you're looking for a little bit of a softer black, maybe with a slight brown undertone, Coffee Bean is just lovely. Uh, and it looks... I have to say the caviar black, it looks slightly blue in the container to me, but once applied, it's a gorgeous, velvety looking, deep antique black. Uh, in the majority of cases, no prep is needed for the Dixie Bell paint, and the coverage is outstanding uh, with one to two coats doing the trick. It dries very quickly in one to two hours, and it does require a top coat. Uh, so again, uh, Dixie Bell's Caviar Black or Coffee Bean are two gorgeous, gorgeous blacks uh, for your black painted furniture. So I really hope that this uh, video has helped you out, uh, maybe helped you make a decision in what type of paint you want to try for your painted furniture. Uh, it's good just to try different brands out and see what you like the best. I mean, that's half the fun of uh, furniture makeovers is just testing out different products and playing around and having a good time with them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and it's helped you make a decision on which black paint to choose for your painted furniture. If you found it helpful, please click the like below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and be sure to join my email list over on salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. We put out a new post and a new email every week with tons of tidbits to help you with your furniture makeovers. So we hope to see you there. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me today and take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.